Hello guys, welcome back. So we are doing the clavicle and the scapula. Since the clavicle is so um, short, the terms, there's only three, we're gonna do both of them in the same video. So for your clavicle, you have the sternal end and the acromial end. The sternal end is gonna be this flat side that's gonna obviously go against your sternum. This other flat kind of S-shaped end, this is the acromial end, and it's going to articulate with the acromion process on the scapula. So, oops, sorry, that's kind of loud. This guy right here, right? And we'll get to that in a second. The next one, uh, your last one, is the conoid tubercle. So conoid means cone-like. That's going to be this tubercle right here on the acromial end. Right, so it's going to be on the acromial end side, this guy right here. It's kind of cone-shaped. You can kind of see where they're going with that. Um, and that's it for this bone. To side the clavicle, it does get a little bit complicated. Um, I think it's one of the hardest ones to side, actually. So obviously, you're going to know that the sternal end is going to go medial, and then the acromial, acromial end is going to go lateral. So it's either going to be like this or like this. Right? So the determining factor is going to be your conoid tubercle. The conoid tubercle needs to go inferior and face posterior. So, now bear with me, I apologize for this. <sighs> okay, so you're gonna wanna pick it up and put it on yourself, that's the best way to do it. So, if it needs to go inferior and posterior, I gotta flip it around, it's facing down this way, so it's a right, so you know it's a right clavicle. That could be a question on your lap, so make sure you practice that. All right, next one, scapula. All right, so, First is the borders, so the borders are pretty easy. You have the superior, right here, superior border, border, lateral border, and you know that because of this guy right here is where the head of the humerus goes and your arm is lateral. Then you have the medial border. The superior angle is this change in direction right here, and then I gotta flip my list. And then the inferior angle, and the inferior angle is the angle inferior, obviously. <laughs> then you have the suprascapular notch, and so that is going to be this notch right here. Right, this guy right here. So it's the notch above the scapula, so it's on the uppermost part of the scapula. Then you have the acromion, which is the tip of your shoulder, so that's going to be this guy. Remember, uh, he articulated with the acromial end of the clavicle. Then you have the coracoid process. Coracoid means crow-like, so that's this guy right here, right? So I guess if you zoom out, it kind of does look like a bird, right? Be really careful with the spelling of coracoid. It sounds very similar to other um, terms that you're gonna come across. The next one is the glenoid cavity right here, so it articulates with the head of the humerus. The next one is the spine, so that's this part right here. Then you have the supraspinous fossa. So a fossa is a shallow depression, and supra means above. So supraspinous fossa is the shallow depression above the spine. Then you have the infraspinous fossa, this guy down here, it's a lot bigger. And so infra is below, spinous, spine, fossa, shallow depression. So it's the shallow depression below the spine. Then you have the subscapular fossa, and so that's gonna be the back half, I guess, of the whole scapula. All right, and that is the end of that first lab.